sexy tech fans, once again we're going to be taking a look at another very sexy sexy video card, this time the XFX Thick 3. But before we talk about this thick beauty, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Public. Baby. Yeah! Check this tech fans, have you ever wanted to invest your money but you don't know where to start? The Public app makes it easy for you to step into that investment arena. And it's available for both Android and iOS devices. Now what Public does is they slice their shares, making it possible for you to buy any stock with any amount of money. And you can do this all in real time. Public uses dollar amounts, not the number of shares, making it even easier to see your money grow. Another great thing about Public is that it's commission free, so you get no feeds on trades and no account minimums are required. You can also earn interest on money you don't even have invested, 2.5% on anything up to $10,000. And if you want any useful tips, you can follow different investors and see their investments and trades. You can also explore headlines, themes, and even discover new companies to invest in all with the public app. So if you've got a couple of bucks and are looking to get into the stock market, head over to public.com or your app store and download the public app today. Get invested. All right, so if you like your women thick, you may just like your cards thick as well. And if you ever want to try your chance out there in the big world of stocks, check out Public. We'll have a link down below. So really, what's going on? Because, well, we've seen some thick cards, right? I mean, what, thick one, thick two, thick three? It's kind of like movies, you know, Terminator 1, 2, 3. XFX has it down there like a movie company now, you know what I'm saying? They, they just keep releasing the thicks. I don't think we're going to see um, a thick four, though. I don't think we're going to see that car. But now we're going to look at the thick three. So you guys are going to be saying, so what's the difference between the thick two and the thick three, man? Well, there's really only two differences. And those two differences are this. This particular one has three fans, which allows it to run cooler. And it also has a higher base clock and boost speed on this clock. Those are the differences. Now, this card has a base clock speed of 1935. And the boost clock of this card is 2025. And that's really the only differences. Now, we'll go ahead and do the unboxing and all that stuff. Now, you guys all know these cards have FreeSync 2 HDR, they have Fidelity FX, they have image sharpening, all that kind of stuff. So if you have a monitor out there that works as FreeSync as well, or FreeSync 2, you know this card's going to work right with it as well. And plus something interesting, this card supports six monitors in Ifinity, which is just crazy right out of the box. So with that said though, let's go ahead and let's look at the box. I mean, you guys can see the front of the box, yada yada. And we have the back of the box, walla walla ding dong. And then we'll go ahead and pull the card out. And we'll set the box off to the side. And do 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 do. And we'll pop the latch here. Kaboom. Latch popped. We'll spin it around. Yada yada yada. So we've got a little piece of foam here, which I will throw at the cameraman. Dang, he ducked. I call that cheating in my book. He should take this stuff. I mean, it was only foam. It's not going to hurt. It can make my day, right? XFX little like warranty guide, installation guide. So if you've never installed a card in your life, and I'm sure probably everybody watching this video has installed at least one video card. Maybe not, but if not, maybe you want to, you know, do this. Also, the big thing, stop driver information, son, driver information. So what they're trying to tell you with the driver information is that there's no driver in the box. So if you ain't got no internet connection, son, you ain't going to be getting any drivers. But most people go online and get their drivers anyways. We all know that because, well, the fastest drivers are usually the most latest ones and they're usually available on the website. So let's go ahead and pull the card out. There's all kinds of little foam stuff in here. I do believe there is a couple of other things in here. Yeah, there is. So I'll go ahead and get these out. Go ahead and stick this back in here. Yeah, how fun, 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 fun. Okay, so we do have some Molex connectors in here. So we've got two Molex to two 8-pin power connectors on here. This bad boy is actually going to be taking two 08. Yeah, that's right, two 8-pin power connectors. Holy macaroni, that's going to be quite a bit of power there. So let's go ahead and 
close it off, and then let's move along and let's start, <laughs> before I knock everything off the table, let's take a look at the card. So let me get the card out of its nice plastic container here. And voila, look at that. Now, I said this before, and some people agreed and some people disagreed, but I really like this design. It reminds me of old cars, like back in the day, where they were just nice and chrome and black or chrome and blue. Really simple, elegant. I still think, even with three fans, this still maintains that same integrity. Now, as far as the card's dimensions go, it's 31 and a half by 13.1 by 5.7 centimeters. So if you're wondering if the card will fit inside your system, those are the dimensions. Now, when you turn the card to its side, I think it looks really nice as well. You can see all of the aluminum heat fins all protruding throughout the card. You can also see the two 8-pin power connector that's recommended that you use a minimum of a 600 watt power supply on this card. So make sure you at least have a power supply that'll you know, provide enough power to it. Otherwise, your system might just go, it won't blow up, probably just won't start. So now, on the back, and I think this is really cool. This totally reminds me of like the front of a Cadillac or something. You have to admit, that just looks totally awesome. The rear of this card to me looks really cool. Now in some systems, you're not gonna see this at all, but there are a couple of those new thermal take cases that are out there that are like just totally open frame, and this will look really cool in a case like that. On the bottom, you can once again, just see more of the heat fins permeating throughout there. See the PCI slot in the bottom. Now this particular card doesn't have a BIOS switch for changing between BIOSes or anything like that. So you don't have to really worry about that. Um, I think the card will do pretty much just fine for anybody out of the box. You're not gonna really need to do any crazy overclocking anything unless you just really want to since the card already is coming with a you know, boost clock of 2025 in the best of circumstances. You know, Obviously, it's gonna vary from computer to computer. Um, on the back, once again, same thing. Three display ports, single HDMI port. Like I said, this is kind of the norm. There are some cards that have some differences, but mostly they all are the same. Now, last but not least, we all know this. I love a backplate. I always have, and this one covers the entire card from front to back. Except for right here, where you see the loop coming off for that little cool design on the back. So it's got everything you pretty much want. Now, with that said, though, let's take a look at our test bench. Now, our test bench is really cool because it's open architecture, which means we can change all the parts off it really easily. And even though we have a liquid cooler, with this particular test bench, it's really easy to take things on and off of. Now, we're using a really nice motherboard from ASUS. We've got an i7A700K. We've got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. We've got an SSD for our boot drive and a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda for storing all the information. We've got the latest drivers as the time of this review and Windows is completely updated as well. So with that said though, let's check out the benches and see if there really is any performance difference between this card and the other 5700 XTs and the standard 5700. Let's rock.
Now the edge temperature of this card was 61 Celsius and the junction temperature was 85. Okay, so maybe the thick girls really do run a little bit cooler, right? So there's been a lot of controversy between some of these cards with a few review sites out there. Most of the people who came onto my site said they had absolutely no problems with the car, but I, I know that results may vary and that, you know, it's possible that someone just got a bad card. But this particular card, as you're seeing, actually ran the coolest out of all the cards. So it's even running cooler than the crazy power color Red Devil card. So I think this card is a serious editor's choice. Now, one thing I just kind of want to state for the record, though, Regardless probably of which card that you buy, your performance difference may at the very maximum be 15%. Maybe if you get lucky. I'm saying maybe if you get lucky. Um, probably you're looking between maybe 7-10% is going to be the average maybe between the different cards. So no matter which 5700 XT card you buy out there, you're going to get pretty good performance. Obviously with a card like this, you're going to have a little bit more room for doing your overclocking and stuff. Now, our results were this. The boost clock for us was at 2013. I wasn't able to get it to go up to 2025. You know, that's just the way it is. Now, I also never did turn the fans up to full blast as well. And something I didn't mention in, in, in the part of the review before is that if there is nothing going on with the card, like you're just playing some simple little RTS game or something that's not requiring demanding, you know, stuff, the fans are going to be completely silent and shut off. So, you know, if you're doing that type of stuff, you're not going to have to worry about any noise whatsoever. And probably if I would have turned the fans up all the way and, 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 you know, had that noise, I probably would have got a little bit of a better boost. Now, if you're a gamer out there who plays with headphones on, have at it, Jack. Turn those fans up to full blast and get your best boost. However, me, whenever I'm playing a game, I'm listening to my speakers, and when I hear that background noise, I just find it a little bit distracting. So there you have it. If you want to check out one of these cards, I know they're in stock right now. We'll have a link down below. You can also check out reviews around the world and make your own opinions as well. So peace out. Also, like I always say, we're all over social media. If you'd like to be subbed, you can sub us here or follow us around the globe. We've also got a Patreon site. We'd love your support. So God bless you. We'll see you back in the channel for more tech tomorrow.